Today we're going to shoot long exposure night photography with a pinhole lens. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com and if you know me, you know I am obsessed with pinhole photography and video. And uh, I have made various pinhole lenses. Uh, this is a body cap lens that I drilled a hole through, uh, put a tin can in there with a pinhole in it. And uh, making pinhole lenses is a lot of fun, uh, but you're not always gonna get the most precise results. Uh, this lens in particular doesn't really focus on anything because I made the hole too big. So it's got this really weird soft focus and a lot of strange bokeh. I do kind of like it. Uh, but there is something to be said about using a professionally made pinhole lens, like this Finney Field Camera 55mm f180 lens. Uh, this pinhole lens was gifted to me. It came in this little bag, and I don't really know much about Finney Field Cameras. Uh, I looked it up online. I couldn't really find anything. All I could find for sure is they, at least they used to make a large format pinhole camera, and it looks like they also made various body cap pinhole lenses like this one. Again, this is a 50 millimeter full frame equivalent lens. It's a Canon EF mount, so it's designed to put on a Canon EF mount camera. But in my case, I wanted to mount it on my Sony a7R body. So I used our Photodeox Canon EF to Sony E mount adapter. Photodeox for the win. Pretty much any lens you wanna to adapt to any camera, we've got you covered. Just mount the pinhole lens on the front here, mount it to the Sony A7 body. There we go, we are ready to shoot with this pinhole lens on this Sony camera. Last summer I had this pinhole lens and a Sony A7 camera down in Chicago. I thought, what can I do with a pinhole lens aside from shooting you know, landscape photography, video, or long exposures locked down on a tripod? So the first thing I tried is pointing a pinhole lens at a light source and moving the camera around. And I got this really cool result. I was able to do some light painting with the light source, but I also held the camera still for a bit so I got some buildings in the shot as well. It's kind of a cool abstract photo. Shortly after that, we were at a restaurant and I uh, was able to use the neon signs to do some interesting light painting, you know, point the camera at the sign, take a picture, hold it for a couple seconds, but then move the camera to add light trails to it, creating an image like this. I also did the classic, you know, just set the camera down, long exposure shot. Got some interesting shots of the people at the table eating, kind of moving around. Not the most interesting, but kind of fun. Afterwards, we were out walking on the street. I was actually walking behind Jeff and Angel. And uh, as I walked, I just kind of held the camera steady following them and did a long exposure. And with the stabilized sensor and then just kind of keeping the camera steady as I could, but doing a long exposure as we walked, I got these really interesting abstract walking images. Uh, you can see that there are people, you can see that they're walking, but it also is all blurred and there's all this weird light streams in the background, creating a very abstract, almost painted look. And I really like this look. It's kind of like a study of motion. And again, I never really thought that you could use uh, such a narrow aperture pinhole lens at night. Uh, because, you know, when I think pinhole, I'm always thinking bright daylight. And even then you do have to do long exposure shots. Uh, at night you do really long exposure shots and you can create some really abstract motion blur images. I also got some cool shots of the city at night and some neon signs, beautiful stuff. Again, things I didn't know that I could create with a pinhole lens, but if I held the camera steady enough, I got a little bit of motion blur and uh, with the light sources, I actually got a pretty beautiful result. Finally, we were driving home on the highway and I took my camera and set it on the dashboard and got these long exposure photos of traffic and street lights. And these are some of my favorite. You know, I could create something similar to this with a normal lens, uh, lock the aperture all the way down, but with the pinhole, I had an even longer exposure time because of how narrow the aperture in the pinhole is. And kind of everything is in focus, but then of course, it's such a long exposure that nothing is in focus. It's all just blurred light sources. And it creates this really interesting look. Okay, that was a quick look at my little experimentation with a pinhole lens for night photography. Let me know what you think about this photography. Is it any good? Is it crap? Comment below, I'd like to hear what you think. And if you'd like to learn more about the lens adapter featured in today's video, click the link in the description below. It'll take you to a page that shows all of the lens adapters we carry here at Photo Deox, and we have quite a few. If you're looking to adapt any sort of lens to any sort of camera, we've probably got you covered here at Photo Deox. 
Also, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this one. I'm Sean with PhotoDeox.com and happy pinholing.